Hi, I'm Mike Shanai from Giroux Tree and Lawn, and today I'm at a property in Bluebell, Pennsylvania, looking at rows of arborvitaes for a customer that's very concerned. On one side of his property line, he has 25 replacement arborvitaes that had to come in after he lost this whole row to bagworms. As I explained to him, that's really sad because bagworms are something that's really easy for us to uh, get under control when it's noticed early and he could have avoided going to all the uh, trouble to get these replacement plants in here and to uh, wait for them to get established so that you can't see between them. I'm looking at these arborvitaes in early October, so I'm not very concerned at all about that brown that you see in the middle. That's just the seasonal turnover where some of the oldest needles are shed as the tree gets bigger and it doesn't get as much light into the middle. Arborvitaes have a lot of pest problems in addition to bagworms. I'm going to check these for spider mites. That may be one explanation for the fact that they don't have great green color. Another explanation could be that they haven't been in long and they're having a hard time getting established. To do the inspection for spider mites, I literally hold a white piece of paper underneath the tree and then I hit, hit the branches getting a lot of debris to fall onto the paper. After a vigorous shaking, that's what the paper looks like. And remember, I'm not too concerned about the dead that came off the middle of the plants. I just shake off all the loose stuff, and then I start to look at the paper for some small little spider mites. Sometimes you need a 10 power hand lens to tell what those little specks really truly are. And if you see the circle I drew on the paper, that's to help me tell because they move so slow. When I drew that circle, that little speck was in the center of it. But you can see it is a spider mite that's moving around. Doing the paper test, I can see that there are some spider mites on there. It's probably going to be one of my recommendations for a spider mite spray this year and next. But more so, we want these trees to get established, so there's going to be a lot of cultural recommendations that I make too. I want to investigate the base of every plant where it enters the ground, make sure that they're set at the right grade and that the grade doesn't need to be adjusted. And then we're going to need to do some deer protection on these too, because there are a lot of deer here in Bluebell and emerald green arborvitae are their favorite food in winter. To aid in the establishment of this root system in their new home, I'm going to recommend annual soil injection of fertilizer and biostimulants too just to help them be well rooted in the ground and be able to get enough water all next summer.